Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about an easy level problem from lead code. The problem name is check if numbers are ascending in a sentence. So let us talk about the problem statement. The problem statement goes like this, that a sentence is a list of tokens separated by a single space with no leading or trailing spaces. Okay, so as you can see, you are given some sentence, as you can see in input, there is no trailing or leading spaces as it is. Every token is either a positive number consisting of digits from 0 to 9 with no leading zeros or a word consisting of lowercase English letters. So as you can see a token, okay, a token, they can, they are representing a token by let's say uh, some word you can say. Now this token can be either a number, you can say either number 1, 3 or 12 or some word you can say like box, has and so on. Now the problem statement goes like this that in simple terms given a string s represented by a sentence you need to check if all the numbers in s are strictly increasing okay so all the numbers that are tokens so all these tokens which are actually numbers are in a strictly increasing order you just have to check that particular property or not okay that's the whole problem statement so you just have to uh, in simple terms have to extract out all these tokens which are exactly numbers and check that whether they are in increasing order or not not as in difficult to understand as of from the logic perspective because you just have to extract out these numbers i'll tell you in the code part now how we can extract it out but what that's in the end you have to extract out and then you can just check out that if the last number is this so let's say uh, all the numbers let's go down to the constraints as well the numbers are let's say in positive only so positive numbers are only there so you can initialize the last number let's say the first number is minus one or zero whatever you can say now what you will do is that you will check that if this is the last number, it should be strictly increasing. So the next number can be 1 because it is greater than 1. Like greater than minus 1, it is possible. Then 3 is there, that is also possible. Then 4 is there. So you just have to check that the last number that you have just extracted out should be larger than the number that you have currently extracted out. Sorry, it should be smaller. If the last number should be smaller than the current number, then it is perfectly fine. Okay, that is the overall idea that we have to do. Now, how can we extract out these uh, tokens? Let's talk about that and then we'll move down to the code part now. So, how we can do that is, whenever you have some string and you have to extract out every token, so let's say in any problem, not only in this, but in any problem, what you'll simply do is, first you have to insert an empty space at the end of the string. So that you can use the same logic to extract out tokens. Because what is your logic to extract out tokens? Let's take some example. That let's say that the string has has, then there is some space, then three, all, and let's say forty. Now your complete like logic to extract out token is that you will keep adding or taking out character by character to form a word. So you can see that I am taking or iterating of on this string from left to right, taking every character one by one. So let's say H, A, S. And whenever you hit a space, it means that the current word or current token has been completed. So whenever you hit a space, it actually means that you have completed one complete token. You can now examine this token, whether it is a word or it is a, let's say a number and so on. Take decision depending upon that. So for the last, you can say for the last token, there is no space. So to use the same logic on the complete string, you will implicitly insert a empty space at the end of this complete string so that you will complete do, completely do a for loop over the string and whenever you see a space whatever characters you have taken before that forms a complete token so has a token then three you will only take and then there's again space so only three is taken as a token then again all these characters will be taken and then there's a space so this all will be considered a token whenever you see a space you will take all of them as a token and then you will start afresh so when you start afresh what it means that you will take all these characters, uh, like from the next character onward, you will start forming a new word, a new token, whatever you can say. And then whenever you found out a number that is taken as a token, you it is in the form of a string. Why? Because these are characters, so characters are, let's say, uh, character types, so we'll com combine them to form a string. So you have to first convert them into some number so that you can easily, like, uh, you can say, easily compare them so that they, they are increasing order. And then uh, you can just check out that the next number and the previous number are like the next number should be greater than the previous number that you have taken out, and that's it. That's the complete logic for this particular problem. Let's move on to the code part now. So, what we have done here is 
So if uh, I go in the complete code, uh, we have started initializing this variable that is the last number, the last number, which means that we'll compare it uh, with the first token of number with the some previous number. And what I've told you that it will initialize with minus one. I will again also push back, let, let's say insert an empty space at the end in this particular string. Then this is the current, uh, let's say current, uh, let's say string that is used to hold a current token. So let's say I'm iterating over this current string. So we will add these characters B, O, X, and then a space. So all these characters that we are iterating over should be stored in some string to make a current token. And that is stored in current. And this num is false. Num variable will tell me that whether the current token is a number or it is a, uh, a token, which is all characters. Okay. Now what we'll do is that we'll iterate over this complete string, uh, which has the empty space also at the end. Now, if the current, uh, let's say character is space, which means that I have completely created a token, then we'll do some logic. We'll wait on this. But if it is not a current space, we are like, uh, adding these characters inside this token. What we'll do is that we will add this current element or let's say characters uh, inside this token that we are building as I've told you. Okay. And then that, that is fine. Now, if this particular character that I'm adding inside the token is a number, then the number is true because I'm actually adding a number, which means that uh, a number is there that I'm actually adding inside the token. And if it is not, we will make it false so that it will help me understand that what is the character I'm adding to, to the token so that whenever I hit a space, I know that I have a number or a non number token pretty much simple. Now, when I hit a space, all the token is created inside this. And then what we'll do is that we will first check that whether what I have is a number itself, because if it is a number, it is true, then only it will go in, inside this if loop or else, uh, if it is not a number, we'll just ignore it and keep moving forward. Okay. So we will just make our current equal to again, uh, empty and then keep on appending a new token, uh, a new token characters and form a new token. If it is a number, then what we'll do is that we will first convert this number in the string format to the integer format that is here it is converted now it is converted now what we just have to do is that if this number is smaller than the previous number then it is false because it should be strictly greater than so if it is strictly greater than then it is no problem but if it is smaller the number that i've extracted out is smaller than or equal to the previous number the last number then it is false and we will just mark it as false or else if it is correct then what we'll do is that this is the now the current number and now we have to check it or compare it with the next number so i will mark my last number as this number so that now this is the current number that i'm on so that let's say that whenever i find the next number i will now compare this number with the last number that i've just seen so that is here okay and that is the overall idea now this two num number you can use this or you can also use a function that is uh you can just toy that is string to integer uh, so we are converting a string to integer so you can use this function as well but uh it totally depends upon your use case uh this two number i have also written on the implementation the implementation is pretty much simple so you can check out the implementation here so the implementation is that we will take a string as an input and we will keep on iterating over from left to right over the string and uh, what we do is that we will take out the current character that we are on in the string let's say 23 it is written inside the string format so we'll first take out two okay and then uh, we will take out two convert it to the actual integer itself that is here and then add it and then now we have to append the next character so we will be taking two multiply it with 10 so that the next it will become 20 so that i can add the next number that is 23 so let's say 270 237 now again add a zero so that i can add the next digit that is 237 so i will keep on adding a 10 so that a next space will be created that is zero and then add the next digit that we have extracted out from the string that is how we can convert this complete string into an integer and we can just return on this complete integer uh, converting that string to integer form and that's it that's a complete logic in the code part for this particular problem if you still have any doubts you can mention it in the comment box of this particular video i will see you in the next one actually so keep coding and bye